She is often referred to as the third in the trio of primatologists called the Trimates, along with Jane Goodall and Diane Fossey, who were all mentored and encouraged by the late Louis Leakey. Dr. Galdikas is concerned with royal orangutan behavior, the development of orangutan conservation programs, and the reintroduction of captured individuals into the wild. She established the first orangutan rehabilitation and release program in Kalimantan in Borneo. To share her story of the elusive, wary, solitary, and gentle orangutans of Borneo, please welcome distinguished primatologist and conservationist, Dr. Brute Galdikas. After years of studying orangutans, Goldacoss understands why the animal appeals to so many people. I think orangutans appeal to people because they're very human-like, they're funny, they also have a sense of humor, and they're just wonderful, benign creatures. Goldacoss told the Capacity crowd at the Kelowna Community Theater what drew her to study orangutans. They appeal to me because they are benign, gentle creatures who are struggling to survive in a very hostile world. Their forests are being cut down, the forests are being burned, uh, they are being killed for no reason other than, than they are orangutans or animals. They appeal to me because of what I see in their eyes. Her message to the Distinguished Speaker Series audience was simple. The main message is that orangutans are on the verge of extinction. Unless something is done, they will go extinct. And the main thing that people can do is not use palm oil. Palm oil is found in virtually half the manufactured goods in the supermarket. Bonobos, chimpanzees, gorillas and orangutans, and the threats to orangutans in Indonesia and Malaysia.